interested in showing you how to use these arrays, just the first three. And, and I'll even tell you kind of what I would use them for. So I have this rectangle here, this purple rectangle, and I'm going to try the first array, array linear. And it does what it says. It, it makes a copy of the box and it's in a straight line. So the count is three, so I see one, two, three. And I can click in this box and I can have as many as I need. This works really well for like fence posts, something that repeats over and over again. Um, I've made blinds in the middle of a window pane. That way um, <laughs> the dots in the middle of the road um, kind of thing. So I have those that I can mess with. And once they're there, you can mess with any of these settings. So you can spread them farther apart or closer together. Of course, there's the X, Y, and the Z axis. So um, I'm frozen up a little bit here. But if I, I can make like a set of stairs. They're now kind of zigzaggy a little bit because I changed this. And you can hand type a zero back in there if you change your mind. Um, you can spiral them. You can make them bigger as they get farther away. I'm going to take this back to zero, the spinning one, the rotate. So this one's smaller. This one's just a little bit bigger. As they get away, each square, each rectangle is bigger because this is the scale. Um, so each one of these has some a property that you can you can change and and mess around with that's pretty cool so i'm going to delete this am i going to delete this let me undo i'm going to use the same shape and with this shape let's try the next one array radial and it makes it has three boxes again i can make more if i want to um, but I'm going to change some things. I'm going to take away keep positions. And that just, it, it takes it away um, so that it, it's making a radial shape. So the more I add, you can see that now it's, it's a radial shape. And you might want the radial shape um, on the X and Z axis, and you might want it on the Y and Z axis. It depends on what you what you need. I'm going to go back to the X and Z. To me, this looks like you know the seats on a Ferris wheel. Minus, they're just not. Um, I'm going to change the align. I took off the align, so now like I don't want the seats to be rotating. They should all just be. If somebody were sitting on top of this, for instance. Um, they wouldn't fall out. But if I took off the alignment, so whoever's sitting on the top of this might fall out, out of this uh, if this were a, a, a part of a, a Ferris wheel, for instance. But this is something that would repeat in a circular type fashion for the radio. And again, the same settings. You know, you have the, the scale and the rotate. Makes a good flower, too, with some different petals. So that's just a nice radial alignment. So I'm going to do a little bit and we'll check out the grid alignment. I'm, I'm sorry, the grid array. And the grid array, um, I, I guess I use mostly for modeling like roads, uh, housing. So how do I do this? So it's three high, three wide, three long, because that's the count right here. So I can grow this make it more. I'm using a mouse wheel to shrink it up. And I'm going to drag this down to one. And now you can kind of see, I'm going to drag this away from those marbles that I have from another tutorial. I have this, like, they're houses almost, and they have streets in between them. And you can kind of see how maybe I can get, like, a housing development here. Um, but it makes a nice little grid. And, of course, you know, you have other things that you can do. If, if you mess with the settings a little bit, maybe it looks a little bit like a waffle. You can change the roads um, in between them, the sizes of those. But that would be your idea of using the array grid. And there's lots of things you can do with this. Um, try messing with this and maybe try randomize. Um, experiment with the randomize as well. But that's just the arrays in general.